The interior of an isba is divided by the mine, not mine principle. The central beam, or matitsa, a log that holds the ceiling up, divided an isba into two evenly spaced parts. It was forbidden to enter the owner's half without an invitation. Guests sat on a bench by the stove. One of the ends of the central beam jutted out beyond the walls of the isba, and a horse or a rooster was carved into that end. Up to the 19th century, it was carved with seven or nine swings of an axe, which was its own ritual of sorts. These carvings were called on to protect the house from evil. A rooster is a personification of death, linked to the concepts of the world of the unliving, ancestors and descendants. A horse or a foal performed the same protective function. It is no accident that the heroic horse of the legendary bogatir, Ilya Muromets, was once an emaciated foal. Other nationalities placed totemic ancestors' skulls on top of the house. 